Well, the crew planning on becoming the first to conduct a commercial spacewalk has landed at Kennedy Space Center. As soon as next week, Polaris Dawn will launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule farther away from any Earth from Earth than any astronauts have flown since the last Apollo mission. News 6's James Barbero is there as excitement begins to build. It's always a pleasure riding out to the old shuttle runway to meet the astronauts when they land. You'll remember billionaire entrepreneur Jared Isaacman from the Inspiration4 mission three years ago. He's back and he's got new crew members. Scott Poteet is also a pilot with a professional background in aviation. He was in the Air Force. And then Anna Menon and Sarah Gillis are SpaceX engineers. We've made it to the runway and the crew right now is doing flyovers. It's quite spectacular. Well, that entrance was amazing. Now they brought us inside this hangar where the crew's about to give opening remarks. And then I'll have a chance to ask a question. It's been a really exciting journey of, uh, of development and training. You know, we're the four lucky ones that get to go on this ride, but I can't tell you how many teams have been working nonstop for the last two and a half years. Hey everybody, I'm James. I'm from Channel 6. I'm a local reporter here in Cape Canaveral. I was wondering for Anna and Sarah, from your early days of working on developing Dragon, did you always want to fly on it too? And is your confidence in your spacecraft why you're willing to take the risk of going to space? Thank you. I think for me, I dreamed of going to space from a very young age, but I've also just been so happy and grateful to contribute to it in any way. I think Anna and I can both agree that you spend a huge amount of your job pretending to be an astronaut and thinking through what they would care about. I know exactly what goes into the testing and the design and the rigor behind absolutely everything in the spacecraft. So very, very excited to fly on my favorite Dragon spacecraft. Polaris Dawn and two missions that will follow are named after the North Star. And fittingly, next Monday the 26th, the crew could launch at dawn. The launch window in the morning extends from 3.30 until 7. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.